Folks, wonderful people, places of all ages, Torchics of all ages, this is it. Our final pay-per-view of this season. This is the road to victory. Azure Blaze joining at ringside. What is what has happened for the net past number of weeks? I'll explain the whole concept of, the, of this pay-per-view. In case you haven't seen last year's pay-per-view of uh, Road to Victory, uh, the link will be down below for that for the first thing too. Also, new headphones! Yay! With a, with a cool, with a nice, uh, also mic included, so now you can hear me. Um, fully, but just having this mic on here, but you're probably gonna hear a lot of background noises with me. Sally, no, Sally speaking right now. But yes, the Road to 3 finally arrives. First things first, another thing I want to say is too, is thank you so very much to people from, uh, Story of, Story of, of the Year for this, for this epic track for the, this is the theme for Road to 3. Anthem of, a, of, of their dying day. Or Anthem of a dying day. So big shout to them. Thank you, Story. And we'll get started with the period actually, too. Live at Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Big, big, big main event. Of course, you know, you know the, 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 main, the main event's always the uh, prestigious title. The ECW Championship will be on the line. Bogart is still, still injured. We have some good, well, of course, that's some good news to hear that Bogart is still, is still competing, but was still able to defend this title after being abused by Broly for the past number of weeks. So, not just that. Women, of course, so thank, of course, remember we have our contenders, of course, and Broly included. We also got Shima Kazi defend the also going out to the Tunisian Women's Championship. We have the tag to help be defended. Kick it off with the United States title on the line. Which Homer, surprisingly, with the help of Peter from the, last, from the past few weeks ago, and during a requested match, Homer beat the beat. Well, yeah, Homer did beat the United States champion 2-1. So we'll see how that this will kick it off strong. Also, if you have to guess the kickoff show again, link will be down below for that too for the kickoff show, which surprisingly shocked the living hell out of me. It was pretty good. I think that show lasted pretty long, but we haven't seen that. Go, go watch it now before you watch this here. And of course, leave a like if you enjoyed this for this. Let's let's hype it up. Let's hype up this final pay-per-view of the season with with, the, with multiple likes. If you can, give it a few likes for East representing ECW. Let's go. Or I guess some super stars can go on SmackDown too, included. We'll see some cool matches here and here and there. And let's get it going. So I hope you guys will enjoy this epic epic battle of epic conclusions. Will we see the title switch hands? Will we see the main title switch hands with Broly's reign, reign of tyranny, you know, continues on as a champion? Or will we see, will Bogart defy all the odds? So all these questions will be, will be answered right now, here at the Road to Victory. It has been interesting for both superstars, but now Homer kicking off, of course, the new Hall of Famer Homer Simpson, part of the animation domination, and of course, when, of course, one, or I guess, one half of the TV dads trying to go up those tag titles. But for now, an interesting request has been occurred, has been occurred. but of course, Homer wants to go out to that United States Championship and after a victory over Goki. But Goki got a victory to build in confidence for him towards right here, but tonight. 
As we kick off the road trip with the, with the United States title on the line, it is going to be a very interesting match, having both superstars. The road trip, the road trip is for both of these guys could be interesting right here tonight, having their destiny, of course, Homer's destiny is to try to get the tag team titles, but for now, Homer wants to come, you know, wants to also try to obtain that US title, taken away from Goki after having a tremendous title reign. Goki had it for about, it's probably like the uh, month number 15 for, for, for Goki. Now the question is, will we see that happening right here tonight? Will Goki's title reign end? Will we see Homer become the new, new champion? First Hall of Famer, now a champion? Could be possibi po a possibility for now, but what will Peter, what will Peter think? Peter, of course, we heard, heard, we saw, we heard that stage, uh, getting reports that Peter definitely has his back for tonight. So if anything else happens, Peter will have his back for now. Just hopefully, you know, try to be even, even out of it if he's just so stupid again. So that's what Peter, we have informed to Peter. But for now, folks, this is it. The rest title match, I'm going to go away and kick off. Kick off the main event show at the Road to Victory. Let's go. US title match on the line. And this will be a very interesting battle. Either win, I'm sorry, uh, Goki win the white, white attire. Which is interesting. Both fighters ready. Round one. Of course, Goku representing Japan. Home of the United States. Or Goku is eating right now. You have a US title match on the line, buddy. Oh, ooh. That, and we're all focusing on Homer again. Double slip fist combo off the bat. There, good job from Homer right now. We all Goki on the offense right now. Homer with the donuts, donut throw. Goki with the nice, quick, nice throw you can. Uh oh, watch out! Oh, big seen throw you can. From Goki and the champion just delivers beautifully in round one. Homer delivered those super fists pretty nicely in round one, but unfortunately, Goki had more better advantage. Uh oh! Oh! Big combination for the first blood! That big fire dukin! And Homer continues to eat again. Watch out, Homer! This is, it. This, is for, this is for the United States title! Oh, great. Yeah, pretty much to be a. Oh, God. Let's go! Homer! Going for a Hail Mary Super Fist combo. This is super, uh, super, super fist combo. Big elbow drop again. Oh, counter. Oh, oh, nice counter from Homer. But, oh, too little too late. You should be eating that burger, man. Should have said that for, should have said that, say that during backstage. <sighs> well, unfortunately, a 2 0 beatdown. And the champion retains his title. Yep, so I guess Goki. Goki and the animation domination series finally ends there. Goki retain, re remains as your United States champion. Well, um, Homer. Why would you be eating at a time like this, Homer? You should have said that backstage. Uh. Well, Peter's fun. Peter's fun to be disappointed. Same with, his, well, same with Marge, I guess. On Extreme Saturday, I guess. I don't know. <sighs> well, very quick US title match. We gotta give him a little. I'll give him a little credit because he did. He did make Goku work a little bit. Just you know, work a little bit harder just to retain it. But another loss for Homer. As the series concludes, two one, ended off right there. I mean, yeah. Well, who am I kidding? That was that was squash fest. But still, good match for at least Homer just delivered almost drained a hat and went to Goki, cut on Goki's hat, uh, help in half. Honestly, what can you expect out of Goki as the United States champion? Just continues to build dominance, and he's he's been nominated the U.S. U.S. champion for for a month and a quarter now. 15 months as the United States champion. Unbelievable title reign so far. He could he could he could beat Lex Luger if he could do if he keeps you know keeps you know being defending his title, which he'll definitely do more often. So Goki will, it will be more clear to defend his title. 
But honestly, it's been a really rough, rough ride for for Homer right now. Well, actually, well, it's been pretty average, let's just say. Anyways, folks, we're going to continue up to the next match. Um, I believe we have ourselves a handicap match. Fire Emblem have returned. Will they, will they do more dominance when we come back up after the break? And we're from Mark's third conversation. Who's ready for some Fire Emblem action, folks? Who's ready for it? Anybody, anybody in the comments are Fire Emblem fans? So this is, well, this, you came to the right place because the Road to continues with the returning Fire Emblem first things first. I want to welcome them back. Personally, I want to welcome them back to ECW after a seven month, after being gone for about, about six months, seven months with, with injuries. Thanks to, they all thanks to this, these guys on the right corner, the infantry, who cost them about, well, yes, six months of their career. Their careers. But honestly, now, with the, with these, with, with, with revenge, redem this is a, re a very interesting handicap redemption match. So this is a chance for redemption for Fire Emblem hopefully regain back their careers. But a new Roy, as you can tell right there, a brand new Roy been released. And the phone is an asshole. Yay. The jerk phone again. Wonderful. I always hate it when the stupid, stupid interruption show up at this case, but for now, Let's get it going because apparently this stupid phone had to ring every time. Okay, okay. So thank you to Phoenix for the time stamp. Okay. It's gonna be Mark versus Hamlet. This is a, again this is an elimination okay. style match. So this is a, hand, a two on four handicap match. Ready. So but right now it's just gonna be Mark right now trying to eliminate and just snap the infantry. But Mark, right now Mark has been Mark's been interesting right now too. He's been awesome lately. Earth is new, new update. And it's time to fall. Are you kidding me? This fire truck too? Win! Oh my god, really? But anyways, this yes, yeah, still fire truck. I have still got my phone in my office. So it's been buzzing right now. It's also fire truck in Alabama. <laughs> um, right now, and it also next is looping after Mark takes the round one victory as well. Uh oh. Dark, oh, some dark magic plan for Ludwig, but unfortunately, Mart around the offense, where he can get his revenge. Redemption is finally here for the fire, for fire Emblem. Not bad, not bad. Mark, some big air combos, not, not bad. One more hit should do it. That's it for Ludwig. So much for you, you little asshole, who's sneaking, ar sneaking around and shit. Next up, Morton Koopa is up next. Should be very close, much of a clean sweep here. Of course, we still got Bowser Jr. And Morton just sent flying. Right back in the back the ring he goes. There's a fireball. There's a nice dark fire combo from Morton. So Morton just sums up all these fire fire combos. The Koopa kids get ambushed and destroyed. Oh, there it is. I was expecting the critical hit to work, and there it is. What a counter into that from that dark fire into the critical. Beautiful move, and now we get to round four. And Junior, prepare to suffer meet your maker because you have bad defenses, dude. <laughs> yeah, Mark is gonna kick your ass. Yeah, look at this. The damage! Big up smash off the mark! It's all about Junior right now. And that's it! Big slash knocks down Junior. I think Mark was like, you know what, man? I got where right, I got this. Let me take care of the infantry for you. You don't have to worry. That was a clean sweep. And Fire Emblem just decimated the infantry. And Revenge, Redemption has finally Fire Emblem's chances right now. And they did it. Redemption is theirs. So Fire Emblem gets it. Hopefully, Fire Emblem fans enjoyed that because the infantry got what they deserved. A total ass kicking from Fire Emblem. And I know the infantry are probably not going to be happy with this as a will plot revenge. Well, as always, they'll probably just going to ambush somebody else and and they plot the revenge against Fire Emblem. So we'll have to see how we'll have to see how how it works for the infantry. But the infantry just got their asses handed to Fire Emblem thanks to Mark's overpowered combos. And his his critical hit is nasty. Yeah, that critical hit is definitely a one hit KO. I probably may have to, I probably have to find someone to nerf it down or something, maybe. 
but that was still, I don't even care. I don't even care what you guys think in the comments. You don't want the infantry just got their asses handed, and they deserved their, deserved, they deserved it, what they did to Fire Emblem. So, revenge is definitely theirs. Epic revenge to Fire Emblem. For now, that's the probably do for this one. Stay tuned for more action too. And we'll, of course, we heard news the tag team titles are on the line. It is a rematch for, for, the, for the tournament. But now we'll see, maybe we'll see Final could this, could this, this be the Double Dragon Voice's last chance to, re to hopefully gain, to hopefully gain more confidence and also to build in? It hasn't been unlucky, it hasn't been lucky though. But we'll see what happens. Double Dragon Boys are up next. The tag titles hang in the balance, and Double Dragon Boys could be in the pickle right now after that tremendous beatdown that they suffered from Ryu and Ken. But they, 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 I think they can do it. They forced around three last time, so can they do it? Can they build in and get the tag team titles finally for the first time in their careers? We're going to find out hopefully after this. Welcome back, folks, as we continue on the road to victory. The ECW tag team titles hang in the balance. It finally gets to the rematch from the tournament after witnessing a huge, huge beatdown from them last time. So, so this is the, since they're going to be competing again, really do we have this is the last chance to regain the tag belt before the season, before the season finale coming soon in April. April or May in this case. But honestly, it's going to be a really rough rough ride for for Double Dragon Boys when they finish the season. But they you got to give them credit for, for actually pulling out some massive stops and that was also making it one heck of a one heck of a push now for this season. Hall of Famers they can, now that they can get the tag team titles here tonight, this is their last chance. But can you do it right here against, the, against, against the PPGs? Right here, right now, is the answer. Let's get it going. Tag team titles hang in the balance. Double Dragon Boys are always fired up and ready for action. Round one! Here we go. So dominantly in the tag team division. Right now, Bill is going to go right, right off the back to work when he typically left off from the previous tournament. And there it is. Oh, big, big double dragon punch, double dragon uppercut combos. And Jimmy, but Jimmy taking a big spill here. Uh oh, double. Oh, but no, gets counted to the maximum bubbles. And Jimmy's already down for the count. Down with Billy. Billy just taking the taking the, just hanging this, this combo. And there he goes from Buttercup. Wins. Wins. Unbelievable destruction for the for the Tiny Titans of round one. There's Blossom looks on. There's round two. This is going to force a round three here in this round two predicament. Uh oh, bubbles? I thought, uh, I for a second, I thought Bubbles was going to block it, but I guess nobody home. Yeah, this is so, looks like the PBGs again. Deja vu from the four. No, nobody home. Oh, big, big flying kick. Big spit kick from Jimmy from Billy. Oh, big super, super hurricane kick. This could be the fate of Bubbles. They need to eliminate and isolate their opponents as fast as, fast as possible. And then it was Bubbles down for the count. But there's a machine gun from Buttercup. Billy with a nice slam. Can Billy do this? Can Billy force around three like half like, before? Oh, he does it. Oh, my God. Win. Billy does it! Billy forced the round three! Barely! And yes! Just like in the tournament! Round three! Can Double Dragon Boys actually annihilate the, the lane of the PPG's a tunnel lane? This is it! Oh! No! Jimmy blocked it this time! What a defensive play! This is close right now. This is actually, this is really close, folks. Titles hanging the balance. Oh! Sonic Screw blocked that double dragon punch! What a reversal from people from Bubbles! Calling the thunderclap from Bubbles as well! Double dragon fist again! Nobody home! Double dragon fist is on the offense right now! Maximum Bubbles! No one's blocked from Jimmy again! Thunderclap! Big was Billy Lee! Down to Jimmy! Jimmy with a big, big spin, big super spin kick combo! This is close! Lazy Mines! Oh! Nobody home! Oh! Jimmy was so close! 
Oh! What a fierce fight! Oh, damn! What a close match! What a 2-1! Just like before, we saw a few months, just last month, we saw the same, uh, same effect happen. But some de good defensive plays from, from the Double Dragon Boys, but they played hell of a defense. But unfortunately, PBG still aced them just this close. You can't see my fingers, but they were this close! Near fall to near fall. Oh, what a close, close, close fight between both teams. They just keep forcing round threes. This is our first round three, by the way, too, for, the, for this pay per view. Oh, my God. I never felt this hype before in my fucking life. My back is not hurting me. Wow. Oh, my goodness. What a fierce battle. Victory is definitely going to PPGs off the bat. Unfortunately, 2-1 though, but damn, Double Dragon Boys was this close. I was actually going to Double Dragon Boys to win the damn thing. It was a good fight though. Unfortunately, yeah, PPGs retained the Tag Team Championships. Oh man. That was a fierce fight between both, both, both factions, but I mean. They, I mean, Double Dragon Boys were this close, they isolated their opponents beautifully, but just in the last second in, in round two, but Billy just tanked it, saving his partner, but unfortunately, people just came back and had, had, a sec, had their third win, and just knocked down the knocked down, uh, Double Dragon Boys. Just this close of health remaining for the PPG. Again, close fight, just deja vu from, from, the, from the previous from the tournament we saw, we witnessed in the final, in the, in, the, in the championship round. It didn't work out, but it was still one hell of a fight. And we had all round three, surprisingly, in that, in that tournament. Probably the best I've ever, I've ever done to promote that show. And... Damn. <laughs> but yeah, it happens, folks. Sometimes round threes, you just get that, you build momentum, and you just get shut down. And that, that feel like the, the, and the opponent's second win or something like that. But, gotta give up, give it up for both teams to put up a hell of a fight. Round three, for my first round three of the pay-per-view, hell of a shot. It was one hell of a try though. <laughs> oh man, what a close match. Unfortunately, we don't have to, we can use up, that was Double Dragon Boy's last chance to, to, to hopefully gain some gold. Maybe we'll see this season for the, for the upcoming Fatal 4 in a match, you know, if they do, if they do get well. They're probably going to need to do a lot of healing because you know, they're going to be better than bruised when they come back. So, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be huge when it comes to the season finale. Yeah, we'll see we'll see them back on there. But for now, we'll have to see what the action unfolds. Good round three, and we'll see us back here in a few moments. I need to re regain my strength, regain my voice because I'm probably going to lose it right now. Welcome back, folks, and unbelievable performances from the from the tag team champions. Hey, guys, Steve, hang on a second. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. And thank you for your bless you's in the comments. But, um, I haven't, I haven't, yeah, I've been, I think I'm starting to feel sick again. But, uh, I don't know. Man, I'm allergic to, allergic to these Mortal Kombat females. <laughs> Hopefully, but Queen's Blade have achieved glory because you haven't, in case you haven't seen the seen that at Champions, um, they won the knockout title. An unbelievable performance from, the, from Queen's Blade. I'm not in that Fatal Four match, making become the under underdogs and, and defying all the. Well, I guess you can't really call Kaya an underdog. But, you know, she's pretty thick with those two C's. There. But nonetheless, Queen's Blade will have their first title defense against. Mortal Kombat Lee Man and Tanya after they did invoke the rematch clause. They had a rematch clause in their contract, so technically they now they have they have a chance to own that number one contendership. And they're gonna do it right here tonight in Alabama. Hopefully you guys hope you guys hope you hope you gentlemen are excited for some puppies, but uh or some uh kittens if they're cat fans. Cat you cat lovers, but uh let's see some kittens and puppies flying out. Maybe. If we make Maybe we can just, just you know, take apart Katia and just, just leave Irie defenseless. 
Iris. Iris is a tough girl. It's my girl right there. My Iris is a tough girl. I got my I got my heart the Queen's Blade. Definitely those those beautiful, beautiful those those bosoms on those on those females. No disrespect to me and Tanya, but they but Teddy uh, the fustiest of all of all four. And also we they had a little reunion with them uh, with Mina Roja, but they were part of the Queen's Gate series. Uh, in case that's only Japan exclusive on the PSP, by the way. Um they, really, they put up a massive showcase in 4v4, so maybe we'll see those so few of the big reunion for Queen's Gate have a nice 4v4 reunion. They could be interesting for next season. That's an idea you guys may, may include in the comments. So if you, want to, if you guys want to see that, leave in the comments below if you want to see a Queen's, Queen's Gate reunion. So let's, we'll see how it goes. Meanwhile, Lima and Tanya are just been complaining, whining, little bitches. Call the Bad Girls Club and they just been annoying. Very annoying. They exclude Saturday, and they also appeared here, just trying to, you know, make Huff trying to regain some confidence. And they did regain a little bit more confidence too. They're off camera a few matches, so hopefully they can try to do the best they can this time. They better up, up they, they better get, they better focus here and take care of Katia first. That's probably my strategy for them. Just my advice: take out Katia first. <laughs> How great is this guy wearing this morning? The red glasses. Ooh, very tired. Nice. Alright, here we go. And that red sword. Oh boy. That red sword, though. Look at that big giant. It's almost as big as Sephiroth's blade. But, unfortunately, Sephiroth's blade actually does beat Katia's sword real quick. It was round one and up one! And it looks like Tanya wasted a little time here. Katia counts with a thousand swords. Oh ho ho! Good night, Lee May! And Katia goes for that big time full force strike. And it looks like Kingsley knockout can be in business right now. But the challengers no playing wasting no time. But no! Challenge to the thousand swords knocks down Tanya! Beautiful counter from Katia. The big bosom big bosom knockouts champion just delivered that beautiful thousand swords and knocks down Mortal Kombat. And now round two. See if uh looks like a team. Little Combat trying to get to a good start here. Go for the. Ooh! Go for that big kick. Go for that moonlight kiss, but nobody home! And oh, good counter, but no! I already counts with the, with, the, with the big scooter, scooter wave! Into, the, into that big side spin. Or death side spin, excuse me. That it again? Thousand swords! Oh, into the spirits! Spirits! Uh, so wow, I can't even speak. <laughs> But damn, Queen's Blade are back in business, and yes, they have now become Hall of Famers. That is their 30th victory. Unbelievable. They just keep grounded, pounding opponents left and right. And there you go, folks. New knockout, well, of course, knockout champs retained their knockout titles. Of course, hands down. Obviously, a big victory for them. And, of course, a, a night, or their first title defense just piercing through. Against, against Mortal Kombat. Bye bye, Li Mei. Bye bye, Tanya. You can forget about your title. You, you, you forget about you, you forget about our rematch. Go home. And go back. To, go back to sucking Shao Kahn's uh, heavy schlong. Go back to sucking uh, the Kaigen again, or any of the Mortal Kombat females. I don't know. They could be lesbian. Fucking. Well, anyways, that was pretty much it. That's some of the some of this robbery between Mortal Kombat and Queen's Blade. Queen's Blade just annihilated them. I mean, some cheap shots here and there from them after just. But as soon as Queen's Blade got the second win, bam! Just thousand swords into their into their deaths. Oh, baby, the big bosom knockout champions are no slouches now. They really have stepped up their game. So honestly, I'm, I'm very proud of them. 30 victories for the Queen's Blade, and that's the, and of course now the Hall of Famers. They'll be able to the Hall of Famers at the season finale. They'll defend those knockout titles over there if they can survive against other teams, of course, in the knockout division. They're top of the world now, but they got one opponent they, will, they actually do want to face in a dream match against Blue. Yeah, 
Huge Bay are looking forward to face Blast Bullet in the season finale, so we'll see that match, a dream match happening to you. But it's so fun to see that too. See that match, Lee Man Tom. I'm oh, no, sorry, let me just say. Uh, Fizz Blade versus Blast Blue. That's never happened before. That never happened, but this could be a dream match right here. We'll see what happens when we actually develop it. Leave in the comments below if you're ready for that idea. Maybe, we'll, maybe you guys will see some action with Fizz Blade versus. Blasblo, that would be an interesting battle of all. But right now, uh, Blasblo is 3v3 right now, but they look forward to this. They actually want to still send, send a message to Blasblo. Um, hopefully, they want to get the piece of the gold. They can come and get it. So I would love to see that. Queen's Blade and uh, Queen's Kali Kali and Irie. I would say so. See a dream match of the century right there. Pretty much sums up that the whole thing that's like the dream of Kanye. But there's still a lot of opponents here for Queensland, so I don't want to, I follow Queensland, I want to be so cocky. Because okay, there's still a lot of opponents to, to hopefully take on, since they're the champions now. I would, I would just love to see, maybe we'll see that happen, I don't know. Maybe we'll see Lazarus Speed's play in the finale. Alright folks, so we'll be back in a minute. We got ourselves some action, we have more action too, the big world victory. We got, we got, we got, I think we have a 4v4 match coming up. That's going to be exciting. And of course, Bogard. Bogard takes on. An injured Terry Bogard takes on. Broly for the Easter time. That's still to come tonight. So we'll have more on that as we speak. We'll come back in a minute. Stay tuned, folks. What's up, guys? We're back. Doubles continues on. As we go. We have a little bit of a t nice doubles match. Of course, we have a. Or, I guess in this case, a Divas tag team match. Part of the part of the world's victory, of course. The new, of course, the, we see Z Samus and Peach be a second pay per view appearance. Actually, this is Peach's, I think, her fifth pay per view appearance. Meanwhile, Z Samus is her, only her second pay per view, pay per view, pay per view, pay -per -view of the appearance. I can't, I'm about to say appearance. And they're gonna take on the, um, and they just compete. Uh, they take on Katana and Jade. Unfortunately, Katana and Jade. Actually, they, get, they did get updated, actually. All for, oh, and I forgot to mention that, too. That uh, all the, the female, female, female soldiers got updated, too. But right now, look, they're going to be doing lots of business here. And hopefully, Katana G, the new Katana team will be more updated and more balanced. Or pretty stronger. They probably got buffs or something like that. But they'll probably have a test because they're still going to get smash, the Smash Sisters, in this case. Sisters have been, these blonde babes, have been tremendous. Uh, yeah, on Extreme Saturday, but now they ever since they got to the main roster, it's been interesting enough to see what Peach can compete to lead this team. She's a good leader. She's definitely, a, of course, the princess of the Mushroom Kingdom, the Metroid Zero Suit Samus, without her power suit. That's getting a little tough for her, but she has a, so she has a one of the stuff that she can summon her power suit, so technically, I can get the Suit Samus in SmackDown. It would make sense anyway, because it would go make sense to bring the suit, power suit to Smack of the ECW. So, since the Omega's been out for a while, I don't know what's going on with him. I think we talk to him about that, but actually, about, you know, I have a zero suit and he has a power suit, so I'm hoping he's delivering the power suit to me. It depends, I don't, I don't fucking know. Uh, there's also an alternative power suit that I, I can get for, for Samus, or for a zero suit. I can get the, give her the fusion one. So that's still possible I can, I can do right now. I have, I have to think about that. But shout out to Cho uh, Cho 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 Cho, wow, I can't, Cho Cho Ri, Cho Cho Ru, for the awesome, awesome, uh, updates for Zero Suit, looking really good, bro, and also the, also, also there's also, like, an alternative suit for Samus on the huge one I might get, too, maybe, for, for her, I have to, I have to think about that, I'm not sure about the, the, the fusion suit Samus, I have to just call it that, because honestly, there's, there's, there's like, so many Samus clones going on, but meanwhile, we need, I think they made talking. <laughs> just thinking about their fucking defeat. <laughs> the previous match. Uh, Katana and Jade. Good luck, ladies. Smash sisters, same to you, to you, blonde, beautiful babes. Try me. It's the blonde versus Middle Combat. Smash Nintendo versus Middle Combat. And oh my God! First one the deal for for the, for the new updated Mortal Combat female. Oh, the bomb the game. Bomb distracted though. <laughs> Oh, uh, ton of jab. I forget their names. Damn it. Little Sam is all the way down for the count. And he's defenseless right now. 
I don't know what's going on. I don't know what will happen here. Okay, he's not using the gate the rock. Oh, bomb distracted, but that, that cost herself because the that bomb could hit, hit anybody. Even herself, as you just saw. Watch out, Peach, that bomb is still there. Oh, but the bomb too little too late and uh yeah, I don't think it's I think, yeah, I think you find he's uh, they're trying to adult, trying to go trying to finish her off, but unfortunately they can't do it in time. They need to do wins. They need to get, you know, maybe like they have to win singles. There's multi singles combatants. So they're trying to do a double team, but unfortunately they can't do it right now. And it's round two. And, oh Mario! Mario summoned there! From the team, she's gonna turn up her game around too because these guys are still members. And you know, there's, some, there's some bad blood between these two these two teams uh, during backstage. They issued a challenge for tonight, so. Now we're on break. Right now, Samus trying to bounce back. That big jump kick from Samus. And Samus, both, both Samus and uh, Jay down for the count with a toad horn for the win in round two. And Shao Kahn from Monday Night Mad apparently out of nowhere. Kind of like a Randy Orton to RKO, but unfortunately we go to round unfortunately we go to round three, our second round three of this of this pay-per-view. And Peach and Sam is off to a nice start here. Trying to try to build up build up some confidence here after just slow we a slope in round one. Daisy Sword from behind the deck will spin and the, and the bomb and the toad horde. Here's a just a Sarah Cup that I talked about earlier and the flops her for the win! Wow! One double team for, for the from Smash Sisters obliterating Mortal Kombat and that will Nintendo once again. Th thank you, Miyamoto and Sakurai, but that brand I think I guess I guess no, not Sakurai. I guess, well yeah, Sakurai made Smash Bros. So. <laughs> what am I talking about? But apparently, yep, Smash this is with a massive comeback and a destroyed Mortal Kombat 2 won. Unbelievable battle. Uh, battle. <laughs> Unbelievable battle. <laughs> I've botched that completely. There's, there it is. The botch plays. Count will continue. Timestamp comment section for that. For that botch. Botch count. <laughs> but there, there you go, folks. That is what. That's how this stuff's all about. Smash just is mean business right now. Now they're two and one right now in the main roster, but now they're oh, but they're now two and zero oh on on the pay per view. The two and undefeated. Oh they're still they're trying to try, try go for under under undefeated streak. I know Peach is in that right now. Well, she had made a few appearances. Peach never won never won the matches too. So that technically, that makes her yes. Oh. I'll find figure out the math and do this later. But for now, let's just get the victory with a massive comeback thanks to those, those spammy combos. And that was just some good double team in action right there. The vegetable spam, the bomb, the Mario summon, the power suit, and that flop done in the last second. That was pretty intense right there. So I'll just end up the match. What a finish. And. Wow, excuse me. I just had lunch. Wow. I did that I did it earlier. I was to, I was to, that was like belched out a storm. I was gonna I was going to, but I just did. Anyways, that will do it for, for that match. And I'm just, I'm just a few it's just a way to end up this we're actually now halfway part of the show. I want to give a big shout out to all the people in the comments. Thank you guys again for your request. Thank you for attending this pay-per-view actually. The last pay-per-view of the season until we get back into okay, I guess I guess you can you can say June, I guess May or June will be probably better because we have a 24 top, a 24 top one coming up, coming soon. Yes, I will confirm it here, and we'll announce that also the 44 gauntlet is coming up. We'll be back again for the for for its third for its third year for the third annual 44 gauntlet heading in June. So that, that those you were wondering about the gauntlet, yes, it will be in June. Um, on, in honor of my anniversary, June 1st will be the anniversary of the obviously you to see the gauntlet match. I won't be able to comment to, again, like, like always, I won't, I won't be comment to, so I'll, be, I'll still be off season. But uh, it'll be just technically, so I'll probably begin back in, you know, after my birthday in June. Around, I think, I guess we could say the 18th? I'll, I'll probably return, I'll return on my birthday. In the, on the 18th of June, so it'll probably be cool to see that when I return. 
back in season season uh, season eleven or X one. All right, so all right, see you guys in a few seconds. We'll be, we'll be right back. Okay, sit, 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 have it, have it, just relax. If you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause the video if you can. Uh, we'll pause this. We'll be back in a few seconds with the next match. What's up, guys? We're back, and we're with the teams. We also got some, we also, I, for, I, for, I, for, my apologies, my apologies, my mistake. I, I thought it was gonna be a, three, a 4v4, but it's a 3v3 match, sorry. But, um, Soul Calibur is back, I mean, they, you guys really killed the comments of Soul Calibur. You guys love it, this, this team of Soul Calibur. I thank you guys again in the comments for that. Good shit, guys, good comments. But also, they got, they got a, since KDF Fox and have been forming, have been forging a massive, massive alliance. The kill of the androids. Well, Diana is the, is the professor who created these androids, so give credit to her. It's Diana and her amazing work making Foxy and also K Dash. K Dash is a veteran with, with, with him and, and Diana forming a nice team. But Foxy, ever since, ever since then, they've been, they've been amazing for the past couple, couple, couple weeks, a few months actually. So now. But this will be, this will be the first team, Soul Calibur versus King, uh, King of Fighters. So we'll see how the action unfolds this time. As you head to the, to the Eve ring, let's head over to ringside and see the action here in this pay per view. Try me. Before we get to our Let's main match is coming up, Ooh, we got the green and also gold attire. There was round one, and here's the Soul we're off, off to a nice start here, but right now, we're going to be off, off to a... Oh, what's this super kick from Foxy? But no, countered! He was blocked from behind, I believe. Oh, that chaos part is hiding. Right now, off the bat, right now, off the bat, this is a massive on the other side. Oh! No, there's just nobody home there. And again, go for the Pegasus dash, but nobody home. Link is in trouble right now. Link is not all of the Link in Ivy right now. Goofy down. Oh, nasty combos from the androids. And then cool driver looks on. Look at K-Dash, is like, yeah, yeah, I, I thought it was face Molly for a second, never mind. I thought it was face Molly for never mind. Ooh, nasty combo, just trying to kind of isolate K-Dash from the partner, the partner. And it can't post into that Pegasus dash from Lake and Ivy. It's a good team from Soul Calibur trying to make a comeback. Can't punch it again from Ivy. Who was Diana? Smart move right now from Soul Calibur and then K Dash. No down to the to the tank from Foxy. Foxy has a lot of help from him, but right now, this is a perfect chance for Soul Calibur to force around three here. Big whip shot from Ivy. And Link. Uh oh, nope! So it's Luki trying to save Luki, he does save him just in time. Luki with a big slash, it's the Chaos Punishment! Wow! Nasty team over there, and an elf from behind! Chaos Punishment! The fourth round three! Again! Soul Calibur comes back beautifully! And now we come back into a round three! Final vote, let's go! Who's gonna get this victory here, folks? Uh oh, Foxy again! What is this, Foxy? Oh, taking all three members of Soul oh, Calibur. Nasty combos. Who needs a big slash? That's nice. I need a counter. That's a, that's that chaos punishment. But, but Foxy. Oh, Link with the fire arrow. Bam. But, oh, the super cancel from Diana and Foxy. Come from behind. And no, it's all down to Link. Link cannot get this one. I don't think he can. And the. Oh, great touch spell again. Very much. Yes, we did our penalty on church. Oh my god! Good lord! That will do it right off the bat. Sheesh. Oh man, Foxy. The androids just murdered Soul Calibur round three. But nonetheless, it was still one hell of a fight for, for 3v3. And it's who won meltdown over. Soul Calibur, what a fight between the uh, androids. The androids are looking like a tremendous 3v3 team right now. They're only five in. They're all, oh, they fought they, since, ever since 3v3. They formed a hell of an alliance. Now, now they're six and two. They've been tremendous right now ever since. So that's pretty exciting.
normally we would see Kenichi, you know, compete, but she was actually on, on you know, during the offseason, she was training a little bit and also was away. But so Shimkaz never got a chance to take on the champion at the World Tournament a few months ago. Just, only, just a month ago, or just a month and a half ago. But as I welcome you guys back to Road to Victory, what a fight! A few, just a few just a moments ago, man. Full caliber. And, uh, of course, the androids, you know, um, they, um, kill up androids, speaking some huge ass in that, man, in that victory battle. Now we have our two big, powerful events. It could be two zeros, could be two ones. You never know if you can do This game, you know, predicts it. But for the time being, it's going to be a lot of that, well, a lot of fire and action between Kenichi and Shimakaze. These two have really faced off each other, but it's, it's about time we see two of my favorite, favorite, beautiful, my few favorite beauties. These divas locking in beautifully in, in this battle. Lots of ground and pound. Both of these two have a lot in common. They have they ground and pound you. That's the thing. They just like to hit you hard and ground pound, ground pound you into into to the rings. But the question is, who's going to who's going to be more superior? And this is for the East Lovey Women's t title. The, the, the Women's Championship is on the line tonight. As, as promised, it's going to be huge. Um, I have no idea what to say or predict this battle, but I'll have to do the best I can to call out this match, like I always do. I mean, Kenichi, the Women's Champion, has been has been a dominant Women's Champ, but there's still a lot of points that she has never faced before. Taking on Shimakaze is a she's very small. There, she's, she has a lot of youth, a lot of quickness, and that that powerful ground and pound smash up style offense could deliver. So this is it. She, Shimakaze is your number one contender. She won the tournament. She is she's she has a ticket, but don't forget Yoko Littner has that golden ticket. She did enter in second place. So she can cash in at any time. So be careful. You ladies better be careful if you watch out for Yoko. So we can see a women's title match. Maybe a double chance for, for, for Yoko to cash in here with tonight. But for now, let's begin the action. Because actions speak better than words. Let's begin the, the conflict. Something Japanese, and I don't know what she said, but still round one. Let's see what action. Oh! Congrats on the nice start with those big landmines. Both these ladies, like I said, they have a lot of common Smash Bros style offense that just hit you hard and deliver deliver the the, the nastiness when it comes to these two having big mean streaks. Oh, Super Dragon Punch Bros missed. Really missed that Super Dragon Punch. Big lightning, lightning, lightning shuriken, big flip, and right to the Super Dragon, right to the Twin Dragon Punch. Knocks down Shimakaze in round one, just, just like that. Just burying Shimakaze with a damn near flawless in round one. Let's see how it's round two. Let's see if Shimakaze can make this interesting. See, see the the former women's champ can actually do some more damage. Remember, in case you didn't remember, uh, Shimakaze was, is a former women's champion. So we'll see if she should become a two-time women's champ. Ooh, right to that camel clutch into that Hurricane Rana. Beautiful job right there. We haven't seen any German super slick. Oh! Big dash tackle. Oh, what's this? Nice super cancel into the lightning, super lightning uppercut. Burying Shimakaze. With a flawless. We haven't seen a flawless like that since 2000, 2015. Oh my god. What a complete cream burial in, in that squared circle. What a devastating hyper lightning combo. I don't know how to call that. I think it's the blue lightning uppercut. I have no idea what that move was called, but I know it's an upper it was a lightning uppercut. But that was like a like a blue thunderbolt uppercut. I have no idea. But honestly the women's champion just blue champion just buried. And I mean buried Shimakaze 2-0. It was a burial in <laughs> People say it's a burial at sea, more like a burial in the ring. Damn. What a savage move by the women's champion. And so far so good right now. Well, Shimakaze, thanks for coming. All that all that hype from the tournament led to this predicament. Led to that squash match. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. It was a complete burial. Damn. 
Well, we got our main event up next, folks. Main event is, is right here and ready, willing, and able to deliver the goods. Broly, Terry Bogard. We'll all talk more about that as we come back. Before we, before we get to the battle, I wanted to give a big shout out to Story. Oh, uh, she's yeah, story of the year. Want to give a big shout to story of the year for the epic, so, epic theme. Of course, uh, the anthem of our of our dying day. Beautiful track. The link will be down below for that. If you want to listen to it, and of course, there'll be a link down below on iTunes. It's available now. Go check it out. And of course, one hell of a one hell of a theme, and what a hell what a hell of a pay per view we've just witnessed. I mean, let's recap a little further. We'll probably do the pay per view recap later on, but for now, we'll do that at the, at the end of the show, and we'll have the full review of this. I'd like to do a little bit little dip, little dabble with these reviews too on, on, this, on the side. But, this is our main event, it is indeed main event time, ladies and gentlemen, welcome everybody, well, welcome back in this case, so this is going to be one historic night. Broly could do it here tonight, Broly, excuse me, Broly could, Broly could definitely go out to this title. He's, he's earned it. I mean, he's he's definitely a bad guy, of course, the villain. A, a heel. But, Bogard, he's a, he's, a, he's a fighting champion. He's injured. He's experienced injuries before like this. You know, being attacked. And, but Bogard is only about 60% of his body, body health. Not doing so good, but he's still a fighting champion. He's gonna do it. He's, saying he, he's a, trying to fight all the, the critics here. But, but Terry Bogart is indeed ready and ready to go. He still has those, those injured ribs. But Broly, ever since then, Broly has attacked Bogart, left and right, ambushed him, getting buried through a table, buried through, getting hit by a, a steel chair from behind. And it's been nasty for the. And Broly, rumors say Broly can join the infantry. There's still. Broly has not accepted any offers yet. But what, if he captured the WWE title, who knows what could happen? We, we saw, remember, with Goki as the United States Champion, fought the U.S. title for the Pizza Train. Could we see the WWE title leaving out of, of, of our hero's hands? We're going to find out right now when we get to, we get to ringside. This action is about to be in freaking saying Broly did deserve that opportunity at the Winter Tournament. He won the tournament! And, Bro and look at Terry Bogart, he's like, come on, come on, he's ready! He's ready to go! And Terry Bogart also nice start in round one, but right now, this is the fate of um, Bogart's hands. No, Bogart, there's power set over to the powder! And he's setting champion, two cooks out of proof of grit, he's a fighting champion! He's a legendary, it's legendary, it's legendary, it's legendary Super Saiyan! Oh! Right through into the rooms, that's gonna hurt! Bogart trying to play a little defense, he's trying to guard his grill. You know what I'm saying? Oh! He's still from behind. That bubble is really kicking in. That stop right to the end of the ribs again. This is the end of Bogart right now. He's trying to fire all the odds here. Oh! And don't forget, they're going to need to see that get hit. He still also has a gold ticket too. He can capture any time right now. Oh! Tries to tackle to, to block it. But a stop from behind. Oh, bro, bro, again. No! Bogart blocked it! Beautiful counter from Bogart. That's nice reversal. Bogart again. Big kick into the rising tackle. And a big punch taking out Broly in round one. But then again, we saw that we saw that we just, we, that's usually the case. But Broly comes back. And that's no, yeah, normally the case, but now Broly comes back this time. And now two. Oh my god! Good lord! And a ground rip right on the ring. The track shoot below blocking the energy wave. And Bogart again, blocking the tax champion taking round one. Going to the fourth round three here, this main event here. Oh, oh Buster Wolf combo from Bogart. Oh, but a counter into, that, into the turnbuckle. But now Bogart trying to fight back here. Power dunk, near fall from over Burley. And it, oh, fuck you. Oh, you can kiss my ass. I don't care, call the match. Bogart again. Oh, power dunk, he's almost got him. Can he retain the title? He's right before the fire of the house. Oh! Bogart saved himself! And he gets knocked down! And there it is! What a finish! Bogart 2-0'd Broly! 
and said no thank you! Sorry about that folks. Again, I had a, had a port and fold. So apparently, my, my sister called me. Yeah, my sister was calling me. Fuck. So, cat, so cat, yeah. Never called me when I was trying to record. She just didn't mind. Yeah, my sister was calling me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Bullcard, I can't believe he retained it. He retained it. He defied, he, he, he defied the odds. Proving that he was still the still champion. I know he's going to get a lot of rest. Uh, it was definitely going to be hurting him in no time, but honestly, uh, what, can I, what can I expect you from the uh, from the ECW champion? How is Gorgon going to come back this Thursday? He's still got to yell. Try his best to you know, hopefully. I know Bullard's going to fight his own rematch probably in the future, but right now, Bulger needs to need some, needs some medical attention and he needs, needs, needs to heal up a little bit faster. So we get, we, get, we get back on Thursday and uh, back up north. It's going to be crazy enough when we do because we have well, we still got a couple shows over here down south. We have Atlanta, Georgia coming up and towards this upcoming Thursday. Uh, well, it'll probably be a house show over there in Atlanta, Georgia. And then we have a thing. I'll have to figure it out. It's something more about him right here in Alabama. But thank you for joining for tonight. I'm honestly, sorry about the, again, I apologize for the interruption to the phone. My sister was calling me from work and I just wanted to make sure she was okay. I wanted to know that I was uh, okay. I'm fine. I'm fine, Captain. But, uh, <laughs> shout out to Captain, my sister. We'll see how it goes for today. Unfortunately, I'm out of time for now for tonight. Thank you for joining for this for this for Rose Victory. If, if folks want to see more more music music reviews like this, leave it in the comments below. Leave your likes if you enjoyed the pay per view, and we're also gonna re review a little bit about the match, about the match we just, we just witnessed. The kickoff show delivered beautifully too, actually. So good matches too in the kickoff show. With this, some huge round threes as well over there, but for the main and the main in the main in the main storylines of these matches, um, how it went down actually. Yeah, Goki retained the United States title. Lots of defenses actually for big defenses for this final pay per view of the season, having the champions you know defend their titles successfully and no titles have switched hands yet. Well, we had a non-title match in the kickoff show. Let her work out a win over Shanna Lord in her new update, so definitely we'll see we'll see Poke and Tuttle to kick off the Thursday night. So we'll see we'll have, we'll have that Poke and Tuttle match coming up. And three three will look beautifully. We got some down threes, some roll matches cut some three three matches, so it was pretty cool. The Blizzy Green um in the Sam's piece will look beautifully not the title defending. Defense, defensive as always, and very powerful that Thousand Swords. Martha Glory finally getting the revenge. Can't you retain the women's title? PvPs and a very gruesome fight in doubles. Doing the beautiful with round threes, going up up the alleyway. And Bogart defined the odds as he is as he still remains as her as her injured legendary ECW champion. So the Wizard of Wolf defined the odds as always. And that was it for, for now, folks. Thank you for joining for, 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 this, for this evening. We'll see you guys back here on Thursday. Come back for more. And also, play games. We'll probably do a, 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 a house show over there in Atlanta, Georgia. So we'll be doing that. I'll post it on play games exclusively. There'll be a little, little uh, house show over there in Georgia. Be able to see over there. So we'll go to living in Atlanta. Listen, we got your back. And of course, Black Queen getting home court advantage, too. So she'll be back home. We'll see Black Queen on, on Wednesday. For the house show, that uh, for a little bit of a house show over there, the five matches you can see over there in Georgia. So the South, the Southern Tour continues. We'll see us back here, back in, back up north on I guess next th next Thursday. And we have Toronto, we have Toronto, Canada coming up on next a few weeks, a few more weeks here. So there'll be gonna be plants over there, and of course, leave in the comments below what your favorite match and. I'll share your thoughts in the comments about this pay per view. I haven't seen none of the other ones too from the, from the past few years. Uh, maybe we'll, 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 we'll be down below. Too, so. 
Thank you for joining, of course, and I will see you back here again. Have another have play game. There'll be another um, house show over there, over there. Uh, this is going to play the show the and that on, on Wednesday and then Thursday uh, we'll come back and talk about the pay-per-view and review it again because apparently I like to talk a lot of, lot of shit and talk a lot of, you know, talk about the, the, the past few that I just really nice pretty much. Um, yeah, pretty much solid, sh solid show. We have, we have some good 2-0s, 2-1s. This is some epic round three. Yes. And no, I know how it just hands here. Big defenses for everybody, every champion who defend their titles beautifully. Except for uh, the Pumpkin Champ, which he did lose, but he it was a non title match. So, you guys back here. Have a great night, everybody. Azure Blaze, signing up for now. See you guys back here on Thursday.